everybody, welcome to Hypo Brew. I'm Tom Brennan. Really quick video today. What I want to show you is how to de label bottles so you can reuse them for your homebrew. Now, the first time I did this, I had about 51 16 ounce glass bottles and then I had about 17 bombers. It took me two hours of scrubbing with maybe about 10 minutes of soak time. So I was working hard scrubbing. Uh, wasting SOS pads and Brillos for about an hour and 50 minutes. This way that I'm going to show you today takes about the same amount of time, but you're really only working for about 10 minutes. So I'll show you that. First off, I want to let you know that I'm uh, enjoying a homebrew since we are working on some homebrew stuff. This is actually a double IPA uh, that I made actually from scratch. Uh, it's seven and a half pounds of hops in a five gallon batch. Uh, and it came out to be 7.22 ABV, uh, kegged it, which is actually something that I've been doing lately, and I don't really need to worry about bottling so much now, but uh, since the holidays are over, I gave away a whole bunch of bottles. Hopefully I'll get some back, but I still have plenty of bottles that I still need to de-label, so uh, if you guys are keggers, you don't have to worry about this. Um, I'll show you a little bit more in a minute. Okay, so what I'm in the middle of doing now, because <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to be soaking these bottles right into a bucket that's filled with some OxyClean. Uh, so the thing you could do is actually fill the bottles up with warm water first, right inside your sink. Uh, why waste that OxyClean water, that, that good OxyClean water, on the inside of your bottles? Because, you know, you don't have to clean those. Now typically what I do is after I have uh, craft beer, what I'll do is I'll, I'll rinse it out and I'll just let it sit on top of the sink for, you know, a couple hours to make sure that I put it away right away. Uh, and you know, then everything's clean on the inside. And besides, we'll be you know cleaning and sanitizing when we're doing bottling. While you're doing this, what I would suggest you do, just to save yourself a headache and having to waste some space in your bucket, is to look for uh, bottles that have screw tops. Here's one that I had left. It was a Blue Point Pumpkin Ale, and I actually had uh, it's got a screw top on it. So there's really no point in me putting this in the sink getting the label off it and then realizing that, oh, this is a screw top, I can't use it. So uh, while you're going through this, just take an eye, just real quick eyeball it and see if you have a screw top on it. So when we're done with these, we're gonna fill up the bucket with uh, these bottles. All my bottles and they're filled with the water. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this bucket and about the solution that's in it. This is just a, a bucket that I got from Lowe's. Uh, you know, any bucket would really do, it's, you know, two or three dollar bucket. What I've done is I've taken uh, seven scoops of OxyClean or some other type of product. Now, uh, I actually just today got this from uh, Big Lots and it was $1.50. So, you know, anything like this works. Uh, and what you do is you take about six or seven scoops of that and you fill your bucket up about halfway with water, uh, warm water. Make sure to stir it around. Now, just something about the solution here, if you have cuts on your hands, you know, um, from, from whatever, uh, it will sting a little bit. So just, to, just a, a warning about that. Um, now the, I'll also took a little bit about the labels. Now this for instance, a dogfish head pumpkin ale that I had a while ago, the label actually, while I was filling it up with water, almost started peeling off. There are a number of companies, uh, that somehow make labels that just fall right off and labels from companies like dogfish head, and from um, Sam Adams really come off pretty easily. Actually, as a matter of fact, when I was down at the Dogfish Head factory, I told my tour guide, I go, listen, I just want to say thank you for everything, you know, for the, for the labels, because they come off great for home brewers. And he had actually mentioned that Sam uh, C, I don't want to butcher his last name, actually makes it a point, and they, they do spend a little bit more money making a, a solution that's easily, the glue, I should say, that's easy for homebrewers to take off, which really, you know, I gotta, gotta tip my hat to those folks. Now, there are a couple of uh, craft breweries that have labels that don't come off very easily or don't come off at all. Uh, Stone comes to mind because they have that kind of etched type of thing going on. Uh, also, Southern Tier, which is my probably my favorite craft brewery, uh, they have uh, their labels are really really stubborn to get off. So you know you want to pick a you know of course a good beer, uh, but just be you know be forewarned that you may not be able to reuse that again. So again, seven scoops of the OxyClean, fill the bucket with warm water halfway, and then just starting start putting your uh, beers in here. Now, if you notice what I'm doing is in here is I'm put the uh, face up first 
or the, the mouth open first, and then I'm putting it down so I can just fit more in. This is about a case of beer that maybe 20 bottles or something like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit here uh, for about 90 minutes, and I'll show you the, you know, we don't really have to do a whole lot, and uh, I'll show you the results of that, and then we'll be all done. Again, 90 minutes of this soak and you're done. You could actually even do it in an hour if you want to, if you really are, are kind of crunched for time. Um, but it'll come off easier in about an hour and a half. This is all the work, for the most part, that we're doing. That's how simple this is. Okay, so it's about an hour and uh, 10 minutes now, or 15 minutes later. I just kind of was peeking at them every once in a while. So this is an hour and 10 minutes into it. I have done absolutely nothing, nothing this entire time. All right, so take my first label, some dragon's milk here, off. See that? You, there may be some extra residue here, um, but I'm literally just, you know, using my, using my hand here to get rid of the glue. Uh, and so really that's here, you know, it's really that easy. Some of the labels are actually still, they came off right in the water. That one came off right in the water. The, it can be a little slippery and you are handling glass. So please be a little careful. The only, the other thing I would also recommend you do put a strainer inside of your sink. I've got one of these like mesh strainers here. So this way, any of the paper, cause there will be a lot of paper there. It'll just get stuck in here and we'll get stuck down the drain. Now, the thing about using uh, this OxyClean solution, again, it doesn't really, oh, this one's a little stubborn, but by a little stubborn, I mean I could just use my my thumbnail here and get rid of it. Uh, again, uh, using the solution saves you, it may not save you a whole lot of time, but it definitely saves you a whole lot of work. I mean, how long did it take me to fill those bottles up with water and put them in uh, put them in the bath here? And the other thing you could do, too, is you could actually reuse this water at least twice uh, I have actually had the, op I've often will do, you know, a case of small bottles and a case of bombers because that'll do me for a five gallon batch. Um, so, you know, again, this is really, really pretty easy stuff to deal with. And uh, reusing the, you're using the water is great. It takes uh, the cheap, the cheap version of OxyClean. So here's, here's the Sam Adams label. Look at that. Um, Using the cheap stuff is it works just as well as the regular OxyClean as the brand name OxyClean. A dollar fifty container. At that look at this one, perfect. Dollar fifty container of OxyClean or OxyClean light like kind of um, stuff will will do you just fine. at odd job. So again, an hour hour and fifteen minutes. The labels will come off just like that. Avoid labels from breweries like Southern Tier, like Stone. Um, you may want to lean more toward Dogfish Head or Sam Adams. The, uh, below this, how about this? Below this, I'll post to uh, a whole mess of different labels, uh, different breweries that the labels come off easily. And again, another thing to worry about is because you're using crown caps, pushing around it with the late, with the bottles here, you want to avoid even getting into the whole mix, bottles like this one with a screw top. See the screw top right here? Let's see. Okay, see, there's a screw top right here. And then that's the, the for the crown caps. You want to stay away from these screw tops. Let me see if you can get a better look at it. And then this is the, the regular uh, crown cap top there. So just throw that away. There's no use for it whatsoever. And that's really about it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I'll see you soon.